This is a real quick tip uh, for you Unity users out there, uh, Unity with Blender. So uh, let's just take a look. I'm, I'm updating my Touch Animator app. And uh, one of the updates I want to have is I want originally Touch Animator allowed you to just animate one character at a time. The new version, the update's going like, to allow you to move multiple people. And so I want to have like an icon at the bottom of the feet of the person to uh, allow you to select it so that you'll know which kind of character is selected and stuff. So, so I created this little thing. Let's open up Blender here. Okay. I should have that open up ahead of time. Sorry. I call it no controller. So here's my little object I created in Blender. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Just a sphere with a ring around it, and then some kind of uh, uh, pointers on the side. And so, actually, if you go into the uh, dope sheet, you'll see that there's actually um, oh, let's go to frames here. There's actually nothing, no animation on this. But uh, when you go into Blender, all right. So if I go to the game setup here. You'll see I just dragged the thing in. That's all I did was just drag it, um, that uh, Blender model right into the uh, scene here and moved it to the position where I wanted it. And before we start playing the game, you'll see that the uh, object is just sitting there. So now let's watch what happens to the object when I press play. Okay, it's disappeared. So if we switch over to the scene view to find out where it is... You can see that uh, in the listing here on the hierarchy, it's actually there. So if I hit F to frame it up, you see, oh, it, it moved underneath the game world for some reason. All right. And so let me show you the reason why that is, and it's so easy to uh, change it. So um, with the object selected, um, go ahead. Uh, when you first bring it in, any kind of blender model, you'll see there's a section here that says animation. And... Even if you didn't create any animation yourself on the Blender object like we did, uh, it all automatically has what they call a default take. And usually what will happen is that the model will jump to whatever the Blender coordinates originally were, uh, not the coordinates that you've moved it to in the Unity game world. So you can either um, you can turn off animation completely, or if you need to animate it later, you can just turn off the play automatically. All right, so let's see if that helps out. If not, we'll have to turn off the animation completely, but... All right, so there it is. So we just turned off playing the animation at the start, so now the object is at the position in the Unity world that we want it to be. So that's a quick tip on using uh, Blender and Unity together. If you're wondering why your objects just start jumping around or moving or, or not the correct scale or position, uh, check to make sure that your animation is set to play automatically turned off.